Big Ten play later parts of the season. You want to have that experience under belt. You want to have some quality wins going forward. And it's always good to kind of see what you have and get a good, a real good test and a great opponent that can show you what you have in your team in the early goings. Luke Weirman wins the faceoff, and we are underway here in the 2023 lacrosse season. Weirman was fantastic last season for Maryland, Big Ten Specialist of the Year. This is Jack Chorus with it. He's going to pass it off, entering the game. That's number 41, Jack Brennan. Running in is long. He's going to take it behind X, coming to the front. Going to pass that off. This is Chorus. And Chorus is going to give this off. Murphy, it's down and loose. And the ground ball scooped up there by Jake Saunders. And so far, Richmond, they weathered that storm. And that's a great save there by Vigue as the Spiders are going to take it into the offensive zone. And with it, that's number 13. Really good player there, Henry Alpaul, who will give it off to Joe Sheridan, the freshman. Sheridan's going to work his way in, going to pass that off. Long pass comes from Madonna, and it's picked up by McNaney. Long pass from McNaney, going to give it up to Geppert. Geppert's going to take it, shoot it, and score. And the first goal of the year for Maryland is scored by the LSM, John Geppert. And Weirman, who won 66% of his faceoffs last year, really was the best in the nation at it. But that time, Chinois got him. And this Spiders offense, they already find themselves down 1 0. They're going to try to strike back here and tie it. Far side of the field, that's Pfeiffer. Richmond just passing it around. This is Merklinger. Merklinger to the far side, Madonna. Tough defense on him by Makar. We're going to say that a lot today. Brett Makar is as good as it gets in the country in on ball defense. Spinning around is Young. Their top returning scorer. He's going to try to get loose. His shot goes just wide, but a whistle. It's going to go Maryland's way. A crease violation there for Young. Let's take another look. You see, this is a pretty good move by Young. He has that advantage coming back to that backside. He tried to go for the crease dive, but if you're unable to get it in, then you fall into the crease there. That's where the violation comes. But you can't really be mad about that if you're Richmond. That was a pretty good look for, you know, their top returning player. This is Long with it for Maryland. He's going to give it to Chorus coming right in. And again, this Maryland offense, they scored in about five seconds last time. Now they've got some build up. This is Brennan. Brennan going to take it behind the goal. Now he's going to cut back, coming around, shooting and saved. But it's loose and picked up by Chorus. Maryland keeps it. Brennan really had that advantage. He had the short stick on him, and that was a good move to take him behind the goal. That's really the most vulnerable position. This is Murphy. They're on the far side, cutting in. Nice move, and scoring is Owen Murphy, his first on the year. And there's a lot of pressure on him, and he has delivered. And he's just going to pass that off for Geppert. Scored the game's first goal. Geppert with Jake Cap on him. Going to give this off to Ryan Syracuse. Syracuse, he grabbed his first goal against Vermont last year. And he's going to give this off to Irksa. Irksa behind the goal. Maryland bringing up Spanos. And Spanos covered well. He's going to pass that off. This is Maltz taking it behind the net. He's going to turn to the front, a pass across, and it's in again. It's Brandon Irksa with the goal, and it's 3 0. But the faceoff won by Chinoy. Now Richmond is going to get a possession here. That pass is high, looking for Stoll. He's just going to pick it up. 
It's in the stick of Dalton Young. Highlighted him before the game. Very talented player. Out of Chantilly, Virginia. This is Joe Sheridan. One of a few freshmen we're going to see today from Richmond. This is Alpa on the far side. This Maryland defense, nothing comes easy against them. This is Aiden O'Neill giving it to Sheridan. Sheridan coming through and scoring. A flag is thrown, but it's the freshman's first goal in Richmond. They're on the board. And Maryland did their job there defensively. That's just a better shot by Sheridan. You can see the way the short stick DEM, your, your one job right here is not to let him into the middle. A little bit of a push off to the inside. The slide's a little bit late getting over there, just giving just that eeny bit of separation for Sheridan right there, and he does the rest. Joe Sheridan, the freshman out of Malvern Prep, the Friars under coach John McAvoy. Coming in his first game, and he's going to grab himself a goal against the number one team in the nation. That's got to be a good feeling for him going forward and hopefully towards a very successful career for him at Richmond. And now Richmond, Ben, because of that penalty, they've got a chance here to make it two. They're man up. And that's why this faceoff is so important right here for Weirman if you're Maryland. A lot of pressure on Weirman. He flicks that right to himself, easy as it looks there. So there's a new year, there's a new rule this year, Ben, where if a goal is scored, that penalty still is going to count. So Richmond, they would love to take advantage of it, but that's a crushing face-off loss there against Luke Weirman, one of the best in the business. And this is Chorus taking it behind the goal. If you're Maryland here, you want to take it a little bit slow there. Try to run down that clock. A little bit surprised that Richmond hasn't elected to go to the double team right here. Usually when you're in this position and you got that man advantage, you say if you're Maryland, you got to ice it, ice the ball. Keep it in your stick as long as possible. And, um, Richmond looks like they're not going to send any of those double teams out to try to get this ball back. It's in the stick of Jack Brennan. Redshirt senior missed the 2021 season with an injury, but last year he was seventh on the team with 20 points. And Maryland really trying to run this down on the shot clock. Got about 10 seconds to work with. But they've really killed off this penalty. Make that four seconds. They're just going to throw that away. So Maryland's off of that faceoff win by Weirman. They took the penalty clock all the way down to 38 seconds. And you see him throw it away there, and people might say, I mean, why wouldn't they just at least try to go in and score? But this gives you a chance to set up the exact man down defense that you want for these final seconds of the penalty. And the stick of Alpaul giving it off to Lance Madonna. About 15 seconds left to go on this man advantage for Richmond. McNaney pulled out of the goal, but Richmond could not get it to the front fast enough. That's Young, a pass to the middle. McNaney denies it, but it stays with Richmond. This is Graham. Tough defense, goes back to Young. He's going to pass that off. It's loose. Coming in to pick that up, that's number 13, Alpo. This is Madonna. Tough defense on him by McDonald. Back to Alpo. Alpo just trying to get around. But again, this Maryland defense, they do not give up many looks. Madonna pass to the middle, it's loose. Still loose. That one's going to go over the goal and out of play. And Maryland is going to take it. Richmond just could not find a look there. The one good look they had, that was McNaney coming up with the huge save. You saw they put two behind at X on that man advantage there. And that kind of caught Maryland in a little bit of a sleeping position there. They found a free cutter, which is something that doesn't really happen too much to this Maryland team. Their man down defense, very, very good normally in years past. That pass over the head of Murphy, a rare mistake by the Maryland offense. Richmond's going to take advantage of it with the ball. That's Smith. 
And Richmond do a great job there beating the ride, getting that ball across midfield to set up shop here on offense. So they're going to get their guys in down three to one. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Derek Madonna somehow slipped through that defense. It's Maycar there on him, number one. Madonna behind the goal, coming around and denied by McDaney. Loose ball picked up by Maycar, who's going to have to give it off to Burlace and this Maryland defense with quite the stand there. It's incredible. There's nothing more to say about the defensive stand right there. It's really tough to be in that position when a team has that many chances to score on you. It's tough mentally. It's tough physically. You get tired. But just for Maycar right there, that kind of showed why he got number one right there. Getting down on the ground, getting that ground ball, flipping it away to the open player. That's a fantastic play to get your team possession and give your defense a rest. It's so frustrating, I'm sure, for Richmond to have the ball that long. Get some really quality looks, but they just could not find the back of the net. This is Irksa, a pass across, Murphy, long shot goal. For Maryland, it took 20 seconds, but Richmond could not do in about three minutes, and it's four to one. Hey, out, okay. he's knocked it down. Got to think this Maryland offense, they were a little bit antsy there just to get the ball back. Diving down to try to keep that in. Was number 33, that's Alex Wicks, another MIAA guy. Played for St. Mary's in Annapolis. And Jake Saunders is going to take that across midfield. So many of these private school Maryland guys, Tyler, that we see on both of these teams today. I mean, it really shows how popular the sport is in Maryland and how Maryland has produced some of the best players in the entirety of the sport. It's got to be so great for Coach Tillman to recruit just right out of some backyard here in Maryland, picking up all these MIAA guys. Here is Madonna, making a nice move. A shot just goes wide, that time to the left. McNaney dove to try to take possession for Maryland, but it's going to stay with the Spiders. Here with two seconds left to go in the first quarter. Pass to the middle, gets away, and that's how this first quarter is going to end. Maryland, they started strong and ended strong, but in the middle there, there were some periods where Richmond was really giving it to Maryland. Just haven't quite had the shots go the way. They haven't been able to get them on goal. Maryland has seven shots, and all of those have been on goal, Tyler. Fight for this ground ball is going to be picked up. Richmond is going to have the first possession of this second quarter. A broken stick there on the field. And Richmond will take it across midfield. They can set up shop here on offense. And Ben, so important for them to try to get this next goal and cut this lead in half. And momentum can be everything in a lacrosse game. You can see the game change in a matter of seconds. You get a goal, win a faceoff, get another goal. The game can change just like that. So one possession at a time is how Richmond is going to have to take this here. I mean, three goals is by no means insurmountable at any point in the game. And very early here in the second quarter, they just got to find their groove on offense. This is Young. He's going to give that off to Madonna. Madonna looking for a shot, could not find an open one. This is Graham. Young tries one off the bar and way up into the air and out of play. It's going to stay with Richmond. They love feeding Young, and why not? He is really, really good as an attackman, but that time just inches away from making it a 4-2 game. Far side taking it in. This is Young again. Pass to the front. Madonna looked like that just slipped out of his stick. Had a really good look there, but could not put it on target. And the ground ball is going to be picked up by Maryland. It's McNaney with it. It's Burlace giving it off to McNaney. The netminder's going to give it right back. Maryland's got to get this across midfield. I don't think they did. That's going to be a violation there. 20 seconds to get the ball past midfield, and Maryland did it in 21, so Richmond is going to get it right back. 
coming around. This is O'Neill. And again, Coach John Chimati, he's not afraid to play freshman in such a big game. You've got Sheridan out there as well as Aiden O'Neill. And this is another underclassman, the sophomore Alpaw. Tough defense on him by Dante Trader, who has played a lot. We were wondering how much we would see of him. With his standing here with the football program. Two picks this year for that Terp defense. Coming in is Madonna. And he's going to give it off to the freshman O'Neal. O'Neal coming around, shooting and saved by McNaney. But the loose ball is picked up by Sheridan, who shoots it just over. A lot of offense is coming from Sheridan and O'Neal, the two freshmen. Both of them hungry for goals here early. Let's take a look. See them coming around. They have those matchups, and they uh, aren't able just to get the shot that they're looking for through the middle. But they've got a lot from the outside. This is Lance Madonna coming around, shooting a tough shot saved by McNaney. He's going to pick up the ground ball. They're all over him, but he makes a nice pass there to Ajax Zapatello. Gives it back to McNaney. McNaney, he's an athlete in goal. He can really move around, as he showed right there. A little bit gassed there. You can see him a little bit out of breath. But again, the goalie, he has started some offense here, McNaney. Terps taking it a little bit slow. Maybe want to give their defense a bit of a break as this goes to Kyle Long. Long coming in, a pass to Kelly. He'll find Chorus. Terps moving the ball around. The former Calvert Hall Cardinal, Daniel Kelly with it. He's going to turn and pass this off to Chorus. This is Brennan on the far side. Giving it to X, that's Maltz. Maltz coming to the front, a shot and a goal, and Daniel Maltz takes it from back to front with a nice goal there to make it 5-1. As Weirman wins another faceoff for the Terps. But he's had it taken away. This is Dalton Young the other way. Young's going to slide that across to Graham. And Richmond is going to th slow things down here on offense. The freshman Aiden O'Neill. Played for the Sea Wolves of Tabor Academy. As Richmond just trying to get back into this game. Pass to the middle. It's Graham. It's loose. Looked like Zapatello had it for a second. Still on the ground to fight for this ground ball. And Zapatello is going to come out with it. Had it for a second, lost it again, but he's got it back. He's going to take it himself into the offensive zone. Had 26 ground balls last year. Picks up a big one there. Now this Maryland offense is going to set up here. Got a four-goal lead. But again, Richmond is out shooting them 15-8. And you got to think eventually, Ben, some of these shots from Richmond are going to start hitting the back of the net. It's just a matter of time. They've had so many good looks, and that's just kind of the way it goes sometimes. The more shots you take, though, basic probability, and they're going to get some of those in. This is Owen Murphy spinning and passing it to Kelly. Kelly coming around. His shot is denied by the foot of Vig Yu. But Kelly's got it back into his stick. He finds Chorus. That one blocked. And it's picked up there, the ground ball by Hunter Smith, another freshman for this Richmond team out of New York. That was a crazy save by Vigu. He came all the way out of the cage, and he had to kind of scramble to get back in that shot. He was just able to glance it with his foot. That's a heck of an athletic play there by the Richmond goalie. A great save by Vigu. Here is O'Neal for the Spiders. Working on Murphy. Going to pass that off to Merklinger. O'Neal giving it to Young, the senior. 
Guarded there by Geppert. And again, Richmond slowing things down here. They've got 25 to go on the shot clock. And they don't really seem to be in much of a rush. It's so hard to break down this Maryland defense. The sh freshman Sheridan lost it. Coming in to take it is Murphy. And Owen Murphy's going to take it into the offensive zone. He'll pass it off to Kelly. Now they're going to give Murphy a rest there. He got stuck back on defense. Kelly coming around. His shot goes wide. He's going to be taken out there right in front of the goal at a timeout. It's going to be called. It's Maryland up by four. Take another look at this hit that Kelly took. Coming right in front of the goal, a big time shot, but he got up okay. And Maryland leads it five to one. We're gonna step away here on Big Ten Plus. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. I was kind of wondering if Maryland, maybe that would, it just happened to be like that the first time or if Maryland was using those as a decoy pass. And I think it is actually they're using a dummy pass because you see that a lot from lacrosse teams where they do that when you have such good offensive talent. Chorus, great find, Spanos. Another goal just like that. And that goal just comes at the recipient of a little bit of ball watching there from Richmond. The wheels... As Richmond, they're going to take another face off. This is Dalton Young. And Eric Spanos has his first goal of this new year. So Richmond all of a sudden find themselves down by seven goals despite outshooting Maryland by seven. Just trying to break down this Maryland defense with this outpaw on the far side. Trader on him. Pass to Young at X. Young trying to find somebody in the middle. Maryland has it all covered. He's going to find outpaw. His shot is denied off the hand of Trader. And that is not what Maryland football fans may want to see for him to pick up an injury here on the lacrosse field. But that's a guy, he just loves lacrosse, a top 10 recruit. Really wanted to play it here at this level, and now he is. Here is Young. A pass to the middle. It's down and picked up by Makar. He's got a few ground balls now. Just seems to find himself right place at the right time. And with experience, you seem to get more luck. And with that defensive possession, Tyler, that one was all Dante Trader Jr. right there. The defensive back on the football field, strapping down on the lacrosse field. That shot by Murphy looks like it nails the bar and goes out of play. He did his job. He didn't let the man get topside on him. That's your job as a short stick DM. Don't let the guy get to the topside. Then he blocks the shot, puts his body on the line. Then the, the, uh, the forced turnover as well in the middle. So that whistle will go to end that first half, and Maryland is up 8-1. to one. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. It's tough defense there, just trying to prevent a shot for Merklinger. 15 on the shot clock, O'Neal. Pass through the middle is high, but a shot there goes over. Merklinger could not get that shot down, and it goes out of play. Nine on the shot clock. Richmond's going to have to work fast. It's going to be in the stick of Dalton Young. Young spinning, just trying to get around. A look to the middle. A long shot. Merklinger deflected by Zapatello, and out of play. This Maryland defense has held up again. A shot clock violation right there. That's just perfect defense for Maryland, and we've seen it all day long. I like the idea that Richmond had. Just get the ball into your best player's hands. Get them to try to make a play, but this Maryland defense is stifling all day. Long pass by McNaney finds Kelly. 
And Kelly going to give that off to Gibbons. It's Ryan Syracuse giving it to Irksa, the freshman, who has looked so good so far. This is Spanos. Tough defense there. That's seven on seven action. Spanos with a goal today. He'll find Maltz over to Syracuse. Spinning twice. That's really tough defense, but Kelly comes in and picks it up off the dirt. Maryland's got 20 on the shot clock. Spanos just trying to make a play. This is Murphy. Now 10 on the shot clock. Maryland needs to get something. They need it soon, but that's up in the air off of Maltz. And that is phenomenal defense by Richmond. A shot clock violation, and the Spiders are going to take the ball. Maryland had one on their own just a moment ago, so Richmond responds right back. And the Richmond defense, given the score being 9-1, to one, they've actually done a pretty good job today. And it, they've been kind of let down by this Richmond offense who's had some good luck. They just haven't found a way to get it past McNamee. But still a lot of time left in this game. They can make a run at any moment. Well, they are going to need to make a pretty sizable run down by eight. But Young coming around. It gets to Madonna who shoots and it's saved again. McNamee is just on another level right now. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. 11 saves, but just one goal given up. Take a look at this. He sees the ball so clearly through this Maryland defense. And this Maryland defense, they can play with so much confidence knowing that they've got McNaney there to bail him out. I mean, it's pretty much half the battle. The goalie is almost like calling the game, if you will. The quarterback of that lacrosse defense, oftentimes with the goalie, the goalie tells guys how to set up. He yells guys when to slide, when to rotate. I mean, McNaney's just a smart lacrosse IQ guy, and yet alone, just an incredible goalie. Put that all together, you got a really solid defense. So now Maryland is going to have it in the offensive zone with Brennan. Brennan's going to give it off. That's Kyle Long. Long coming around, his shot finds the net. Make it 10-1, Kyle Long's first. Weirman wins another faceoff. But that pass looks like it's going to get away. He won the faceoff and throws it right back to Richmond. And the Spiders, they will happily take that. So this Richmond offense Going to have to go to work here. Down now by nine. <laughs> and again, so great for the football players to brave this weather to come out and see their guy. Every time I look to my right, you could see him there. Just bundled up there. Got it all. Here's a pass to the near side that's Graham. He's going to try to move to the middle. That's a great find. Madonna hit the post. And that's going to go all the way out of play. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Maryland's 10. Excuse me, to Maryland's 19. They lead in shots by 10, rather. But just one goal to show for it. That's about as crazy of a goal to shot ratio as I've ever seen. One to 29. McNaney, he obviously deserves some credit for that with his 11 saves, but so many of these shots have just been wide. This is a really frustrating Maryland defense to try to score against. Sheridan off to Madonna. Back to Alpaw. He'll try a shot, that one wide again. We see the shots they're getting, Tyler. They're coming from about 10, 12, 15 yards out. Those aren't very high percent shots. Maryland's defense has forced them to take shots like that. We haven't seen them get those dink and dunks right on the crease, which Maryland has got a bunch of in this game. This is Alpaw, that one knocked away. That's Geppert 
Knocks it loose, and now he's going to take it into the offensive zone. He scored earlier, and now he's got an assist. Murphy buries it to make it 11-1. That's just an example right there of how good he is from distance. Geppert has been one of Maryland's best offensive players today. He's got a goal and an assist. This is Maltz over to Murphy, who's got four on the deck. A 10-goal cushion for Maryland. As it comes to the stick of Kyle Long, he's got chorus. Back to Long. Can he make something happen? This is Maltz. Here's a long pole shot at a goal on the far side there. That's Jack McDonald to make it 12-1. Offensive side, and he's really shown today that he's going to be a guy that Maryland can look for this season, and they know that they got him in good hands now. Four goals in the season over. This is a tough Richmond team, and they've played good defense for the majority of this game, so that's a really great sign for Coach Tillman in this Terrapin squad. And now Maryland has it on offense. This is Brennan. Pass over to Maltz. Here is Murphy. Looking for another goal. Murphy coming in, and that's saved by Vigue. But it's going to stay with the Terrapins as Brennan is going to take it out of the end zone. This is Maltz coming in. And Maltz trying to shot there near post, off of the post, and Richmond is going to survive. So the Spiders, they're down big here late in the third quarter. And again, so many question marks about what this Maryland team would be. Looks like they look pretty good as that stick is going to break. That's the stick of Chorus. McNaney coming out to just try to move it out of the way. Richmond a little bit unfortunate. The ball got away right there. They had a, a man up opportunity there when little time for Maryland to kind of shift over and get in position. It takes a moment to recognize the situation and get into that man down positioning, but Richmond wasn't able to take advantage of it there. Once your sticks break, you have to get off the field as quickly as possible, so it's a little bit of a man up situation for a few seconds. Richmond could not take advantage. And that pass intended for Young is intercepted by Magar. And again, when you're a defensive guy, it's not really too many chances to make highlight real plays, but he's just been forcing turnovers and picking up ground balls all day long, Ben. I mean, we highlighted him in the beginning of the game for a reason. He's that gutsy defensive player, and that's why he was chosen it for that number one tradition, the first defensive guy to do it, always usually an offensive guy. We've seen the likes of Wisnowskis last year, Jared Bernhardt, who's now in the NFL, and just some incredible players in this Maryland program to wear that number. Plus, and the Terps, they made it all the way to the Final Four before losing to Charlotte North in Boston College. They start the season ranked second. That pass across, and it finds the net. That time, Syracuse got it in from Kelly. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Second of the day, second of the season in this opening matchup. As Chinoy has won that faceoff. That's a long pull shot there. Taken by Jake Cap, but McNaney saw that one all the way. Young on the near side, he's working on Makar. And as somebody who has watched Maryland lacrosse for a while, it, it is weird to see a guy with a log pole wearing number one. Not saying he doesn't deserve it. He absolutely does. The leader of this team, no question. But I think that just really shows just how big of a deal it is. I mean, Coach Tillman, he really does respect that number. He consulted the alumni, consulted the guys of the team now. And they picked Brett Nakar to wear that number as that shot goes wide. And today he's really really proved that he deserves to wear that number. The way he's led the team, we've seen him make those hustle plays. He's a gritty player, and that's exactly what you need. That's the kind of player that wins national championships. This is Merklinger. 
Young trying to get through May Carr. That is no easy task. So Neal on the far side. Five on the shot clock. Richmond has to do something now. O'Neal lost it. And he's going to just knock that away. Great defense by Zapatello there. And Maryland gets the ball back. And Ajax Zapatello, the number one ranked defender coming out of the 2020 high school class. But Young's going to take this. He'll take it in and score on McNaney. And Dalton Young finally getting on the board. That's the first Richmond goal since the first quarter to make it 14-2. And it seems like the only way that Richmond could finally get it past McNaney was for McNaney to finally just kind of make a little bit of a mistake on, on his own. He made a nice move and got the Richmond defender to fly by him. It was right here, but then the ball popped out, went right to Dalton Young, and McNaney was already out of position, so Young... Just has to put that one on the ground. He's not going to be able to get a stick down in time to save. That's a good play by him. Well, Young has had to settle for really tough looks the whole day. He finally gets a really good one, and he does take advantage. And I would say he deserved to have one in this game. It's just when you're up against Logan McNaney, nothing comes easy. There's no question about that. We've seen it on full display today. Elliot Dubik, the freshman. Picking that one up. Played down at Winston Churchill. He was a bulldog. Yet another freshman here from Maryland. As Mullane is going to take that from behind the net. This is Irksa. He'd love a hat trick here in his college debut. Just a freshman with two already. This is Syracuse moving, shooting, and that one's deflected over by Craven. But into the hands of Elliot Dubin. Gets back to Mullane. The former Bowden Polar Bear. It's good of a name in college sports. And looked like that one just got away from Dubik. Let's take another look here at this move by Syracuse. It's a great shot just up in the air from Craven. Who started some games for Richmond last year, went four and two. Logged over 370 minutes last season for the Richmond Spiders. As this clock just ticks down, 9.45 to go in Maryland's first game of the season. This is Madonna coming around from behind X. And he takes a big shot there by Makar, just picks it right up. He just makes it look so easy. As he will pass that across to Zapatello, who lost it. Tried to knock that away. Here's Young, another opportunity, and he scores. His second goal looked very similar to his first. And just a breakdown there on defense from Maryland after they played so well all day, they give up two in quick succession. Yeah, and you said it right on cue right there. Very similar to the last goal for Young, and it comes just off a careless Maryland turn right here. It's Zapatillo just losing, and it comes right back in the middle. And this is finally where Richmond's been able to have some success. Maryland's defense obviously not set up because they're set up in their clear positioning, and Richmond on the ride and they finally get themselves in a position to receive a pass in the middle. Young doing it once again the same way he did it just a couple moments ago. Logan McNaney, not the way that he wanted his day to end with two goals there, but regardless of that, a phenomenal performance by him as he is pulled for Teddy Dolan. Grad student from Binghamton. Made 29 starts for the Bearcats. Now he's playing for the number one team in the nation. And Richmond just trying to keep this going and make this score look a little bit better than what it does now. As Young looks like tripped there. Well, it gets back to Pfeiffer. Pass into the middle looking for Graham, and that's Makar again with the ground ball. 
What a performance from him so far. Gets up to Charlie Chorus. Brother of Jack, both of them Loyola Dons. As this pass comes into the middle. And that shot goes in off of the post. Looks like that's Ken Onagi there from Canada, the junior, with his first of the year off the bench. Did you see the way Onagi, he came right off the bench. That was an incredible run. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Whenever they've had a set offensive stand against Maryland's defense, they haven't had very much success at all today. We are back underway. And Maryland is going to take over here. And again, once you get to this point in the game, Ben, there's no need to rush on offense. Maryland up by 12. And that's another pass there that gets away from McDonald. He's just going to have to launch that into the open net. Could not get it there. Saw it there from way out. Tried to throw that, what would that have been, 60 yards away. Would have been a spectacular second goal for him. Well, that's just a smart play. And I mean, even though it didn't go in the goal, it would have been incredible if he was able to score from that distance. He sees he's got two guys already behind the goal. So if it's a shot attempt, you're going to get the ball back regardless. And they were getting a little bit close to that failure to advance mark. So that's just a smart play to keep possession in your stick. That's Signorello throwing it up. You could also get possession back if you miss. Yeah, that's, that's uh, exactly the plan I think he had in mind. I think he you know, threw it. Yeah, but maybe it might go in, but possession regardless. That's Belaine getting taken down. and Not really much he could do in that situation. Those Richmond guys were all over him. And again, another product of the transfer portal is Donnell Mullane. Washington, D.C., local guy. And he played at Bowdoin College, the Polar Bears. Put up 144 points there at the D3 level before now coming to the number one team at the D1 level. It's got to be a bit of a shock for him, but he's certainly a very, very talented lacrosse player. That's a long shot. Dolan there denies him. And again, that's just been the story today for Richmond. The shots have just not been quality looks as that pass gets away. I think that was King Ripley there in the corner who could not corral it. As we approach the final 345 of this game. So look here, Will Taswell, the junior there, had that look, but from way out, not going to beat a talented goalie like Nolan. And this is O'Neill. And again, Richmond with two goals in this quarter, but both coming from defensive miscues by Maryland. Can they find a third? This is Young, who's got them both. Here's Pfeiffer turning a pass. Here's O'Neill coming around. He could not get that one on target. That's the 38th shot of this game for bit. The Richmond Spiders, it just has been so frustrating. The Spiders have crawled around the goal so many times today and just haven't made, been able to find their way to get it past McManey now. Another goalie in for Maryland, but still the same result. It just hasn't been their day on that offensive side. Richmond, it has to be said, a lot of credit needs to be given to them. Their schedule this year is just insane. As O'Neill comes around, his shot finds the net. What a moment there for the freshman Aiden O'Neill, his first goal. Let's make it 15 to four. Tyler, you said it best about their schedule being insane, but I think they're gonna be a little bit thankful for that coming down the road. Really nice shot there for the freshman. Just getting a little bit of positive momentum going in your next game. I think Richmond, they'll be fine once they get towards A-10 play. They're gonna be battle tested going against the likes of some of the incredible teams like Maryland is here today. I mean, one of the favorites.
to go back to back, potentially win another national championship. You get that under your belt. You learn a lot from games like this, although on paper, you're losing the game by 11 goals, but a lot of good things happened for Richmond today. A lot of things just didn't quite go their way, and they'll have time to regroup and rebuild. It's, it's only February. The order of the top three teams seems to be the source of a lot of debate in the college lacrosse world, but I think a lot of people can agree that those top three teams are Virginia, Maryland, and Georgetown. All three of those teams are on Richmond's schedule this year. And there's another long shot that time. It goes wide. It's Merklinger there who could not get it on target. So again, debut goals for Joe Sheridan and Aiden O'Neill. Both of them, they've looked pretty good. This is a really young Richmond team. Joining a brand new conference. I think they're going to be good in the very near future. As that ball is loose and picked up. Flag flies. We really have not seen many flags today, Ben. It's been a pretty clean game on both sides. and You would expect coming into a new year for there to be a little bit of issues there, just getting back into the swing of things and playing, but the discipline has just been off the charts. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I was about to say. Tillman, you know, with the, guy, with the kind of guy that he has, what he's built here at Maryland, very disciplined team, and you see the way Maryland and Richmond, they've been going at all day. We've seen aggressive play like on this play right here, but still not a lot of penalties. Maryland knows exactly what checks to throw, when to throw it. They know how to do it safely. That's Will Scheller there, the number eight ranked 2022 recruit as Dolan makes a nice save. Will Scheller, the second Maryland Terrapin to take a trip to the sin bin today. And he has earned himself a minute. One of the many highly, highly touted recruits to come and play here at College Park. Not the way he would have liked his career to start. The shot clock is about one second ahead of the game clock. So Maryland cannot completely run this out, but they could get it really close. And I would not be surprised if Coach Tillman just has his guys kind of hold on to this. No need to get another one on the board up by 11. But Maryland's still subbing in, guys. And the guys that are on the field, they could be hungry to try to find the back of the net. And it looks like they're going to go for it here. Coming in, that shot off the post. That was Onagi, who's already got a goal today, but he could not find it there. And Richmond is going to take it here for the final possession of the game, and they alter the final score. Pass inside, Merklinger's bouncer goes wide. That's really the story of the game for Richmond. But Maryland is going to take it a defensive masterclass, 15-4. to 